Well, hi, and welcome to Jan Care Publishing Author Spotlight. Today we have with us author August Logman, and he is the author of Shamanism in the 21st Century. So welcome. Thank you. What we'd like to do today, before we get talking about you publishing your book, tell us a little bit um, about shamanism, the practice of it. Shamanism has been going on, uh, according to archaeologists, for at least 40,000 years. Wow. Um, primitive tribes um, didn't have Western MDs and all that good stuff. And so what they did is they had a shaman who was the healer. It's the, he's considered like a healer, like a medicine, but healer. But he'll, he'll anything from your toothache to your brain surgery to wow. uh, to whatever's going on. That's what the shaman uh, is and does. And um, the the word shaman is a, a generic word, but in uh, North America, the um, uh, the American Indians don't use the word that much. They use medicine man and medicine woman, mm -hmm. which is just their version of a shaman. Now, that's something that I've been confused on a little bit. It's the correct way. It, shamanism is the practice, correct? Or is that is that considered? Shamanism is the generic word. word. But to, to be a practitioner, they are called a, like, not like the medicine doctor, but they're called a sha Shaman. Shaman, okay. Or I call Gina a shamanista. Okay, shamanista. It's a female, okay. So, um, yeah, and uh, um, the, the history of it is very interesting. I can give you an example that when General Custer went out after the end of the Civil War in um, 1776, he was going to fix the Indian problem. Well, Sitting Bull had gathered three other major tribal leaders, Chief Joseph, Red Cloud, and uh, Crazy Horse, and there were 5,000 Indians, and there were 217 soldiers. Oh, wow. So you do the math. And yeah. the other thing is, when he went to lead the fort, Major Reno begged him to take the Gatling gun, and he said, I want to take it, it's going to slow me down. They had single shot revolvers. What the Indians had done is they traded for multiple shot carbines. They had better weapons. So you do the math, 217, 5,000. And what happened is um, Custer was pretty dense. If you hear a thousand war drums in the distance, it's time to duck. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to get up. That's right. <laughs> so everybody was there except Crazy Horse was not there. He was meeting with his shaman. And his shaman was doing what we call a vision quest. He was taking a look at the next 10 years of his life. Wow. And he said, well, today is your day to shine. You can ride up and down in front of the soldiers all day long. You're invincible. Have a nice day. You'll be taken into custody by a cowardly soldier five years from now and stabbed in the back and killed. Have a nice day. Oh, my. Those were his two snippets for, for... Right. Okay. And so he rode up and down all day long, and he stood over Custard as he died. And uh, um, so that was the... So that, that was the shaman. Now, the other shaman in it is Sitting Bull was a shaman. He would not lift a hand in violence. Mm -hmm. He just choreographed got, getting everybody there. And, wow. So it's really been across ages, except it's sort of been named or titled a little different. Yes. Yeah. But it's basically a healing practice then. Yeah, yeah. Well, we want people out there to buy your book, and you'll be able to purchase this book on his website. The information will be at the bottom of the screen. You can also purchase the book, Jane Carroll Publishing. It's available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. But be sure and check out his website. You'll find some interesting details there, and you'll love the book.